All right. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Just checking to see that everything works, and I'm going to be unboxing this in in a few minutes. This is uh, something from the guys at Burson Audio out of Australia, I believe. Pretty crazy. So let me just check my stream here, make sure everything, everything is healthy. Okay, live, 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 live. All right, everything looks good. Cool. Let me see here. Um, create island, I don't know what that means. Okay. Cool. So I'm just going to wait till a few more people get in here. Because right now, I'm at a whole zero. So that's not good. I want to wait for you guys. Two people. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, hello. Say what's up in the chat. Let me know that you're here. And, um... As you can tell, I'm going to be unboxing the Burson Audio Bang amplifier. So these guys have some pretty crazy names for uh, their amps. All right, cool. So I'm just going to be keeping an eye out on the chat. So if you have any questions, put it on there. And um, at the same time, I'm going to be reading from their, their website. Because this is something that's new to me. They reached out to me and they said, hey, uh, we saw some of your reviews on audio equipment and we like what you're doing. So uh, let me know if you're interested in taking a look at our amplifiers. So these guys, they make high-end amplifiers and DACs. And I think the thing that makes them different is there are a ton of amplifiers out there that are Class D, which are digital amplifiers. And what their thing is, is they're doing Class AB amplifiers which are supposed to sound better, right, than Class D amps. Class D is more efficient. They're less expensive, typically. Um, I'm, I think there are some high-end Class D amplifiers that are expensive also. But um, typically what you see on Amazon are Class D amplifiers that are relatively inexpensive. They're small, which is an advantage. Um, what's up, Noel? Uh, yeah, so they're small. This one is a Class AB amplifier. Typically, they're bigger, but they were able to make a smaller Class AB amp. And there's some other stuff in here that we'll talk about in a second. There's an echo. Echo. Okay, there's an echo. Hmm. That's not good. One second. One second. All right. So I might have to be quick here. Um, as you guys know, I run a retail shop, so let me see. Let me see if I can fix the echo here. Echo, echo, echo. Um, hopefully not. Super echo. Okay, shoot. I think I know what it is. It is this right here. Let me take that off. How about now? Uh, hopefully that fixes it. Yes. What's up, gaming tech and collectibles? I think what um, the problem was is I had two mics that were uh, firing off here. One that was from the laptop microphone and another one from the actual microphones. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see who else is in here. What's up, Kyle? All right. Cool. So I got a few people in here. Thank you guys for that. Love our channel. Love the channel. Thank you. All right, so let's get to this. You guys can see the box, right? There we go. So this is it. Um, let's see what's in here. Foam. Hold on a second here. This live streaming is a lot harder than doing a pre-recorded video, by the way. Because I'm trying to do everything on the fly. I'm just a one-man operation, and uh, I have all kinds of stuff going on. Let me let me kind of show you what's going on. So, I have just to show you behind the scenes. I have. I don't know if you can see. I have the lighting, the microphone up here, the camera. 
facing me. I'm doing everything uh, with an external mic. Then I have the laptop. I have all this connected through a Blackmagic uh, capture device. And I'm trying to do both. I'm trying to do everything at the same time. So forgive me if everything is not perfect. All right, so hopefully you can see this on the, on the video up there. All right, so this is it. The bang. Let's see what the bang is all about. Make sure I didn't leave anything in here. Okay, cool. So how are you guys? Everything good? Anything new? Anything? Uh, do you guys watch my uh, my review of the S Mic 2 from Deity? It's pretty awesome. I think it's awesome. If any of you guys make videos out there, maybe consider that. Right now I'm still using the Sennheiser 416 because it was almost a thousand bucks and for me to not use it, it's kind of crazy. But the other one is at home and I plan on using that for the podcast. I keep plugging my uh, Patreon, and um, so I put my podcast on Patreon, and I'm gonna be using the Deity S mic on that one. Anyway, back to this. Uh, Bang by Burson. So let me just read off the box here. It says, Burs uh, Stereo Power Amp, Class AB, 40 watts per channel, built in buffer stage with selectable gain, and one swappable DIP8 dual op amp. So this is the V6 V uh, US version. All right. So this is what we see here. I don't wanna drop anything. Damn, this thing looks crazy. So first of all, huge AC adapter. Not quite as huge as like the old Xbox, Xbox one, but this one's pretty big. Let's see. Um, trying to find the specs on here. Um, 12 volt, 10, 10 amps, 12 volt, 10 amps. So you multiply that out and you get the max wattage possible. So that's for a class D, this is class AB. So I guess they're typically not as efficient um, because there's more heat dissipated from a class AB, but what you sacrifice in heat or efficiency, you gain in uh, sound quality. Look at these RCAs that they included. They did not cheap out on these, that's for sure. Is this gonna focus? Yeah. Let me see, what are you guys saying here in the chat? Uh, right, I like the speakers and ass, whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the amp itself. So it comes in this foam thingy. Kind of crazy. The bang. V6 Vivid Bang. All right, so right off the bat, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. Beautiful box, yes it is. So the bang. So yeah, a 40 watt per channel stereo power amp. So uh, the Bang Basic, so these are not cheap guys. So this one retails for $4.99 on their website. Um, this one's actually the V6 V, V6 Vivid. So they have different op amps that you can actually switch out in here. Um, so yeah, it does say V6 Vivid there. And the V6 Vivid is $5.99. 599 dual mono four by there's all kinds of four by mcps i don't know what that means i'm gonna find out all this stuff before i do the actual review i'm just i'm just learning about this as uh as we're going all right so uh, from their website seems like uh they don't like class d amps very much because uh you sacrifice that sound quality select okay yeah, why don't you guys check out their website, Burson Audio, B-U-R-S-O-N audio.com, and you'll see the bang. Now, the thing that's tripping me out, so this, this is, I'm not sure, because this is an amplifier, but it doesn't have a knob here, so. What's up, Jeff P? So homie? My homie, Jeff P, just, just rolled in here. Hey, I'm going live right now. I'm live right now. Where is it manufactured? So, I believe this is an Australian company. But this got shipped to me from uh, from China, so 
who knows? A lot of stuff is made there. Apple products, right? So anyway, that's a class D stuff for class. Sounds like dookie. Okay. What's up, bro? What's up, man? What are you up to? Huh? Where's the, where's the breeze to? Out. Yeah. How much you selling it for? I'll take care of you. How much you selling it for? Huh? Because I, I, I didn't want to order it online. I was going to order it online, but they didn't have the red one. Oh, okay. I got you. No, I got you. I got you. Where Don't you worry. Him in? Um, they should be here maybe tomorrow or the next day. Yeah? Yeah. No, because I have the fix. Uh -huh. I use the fix a lot. You liked it? Yeah, I do. Yeah? I do. I Expensive, do. though, for the pods. Well... Friends. Sorry, guys. My friend sends me. Oh, he hooks you up? From Vegas. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So okay. All right. But no, how you been? You okay? You I'm live, good. Huh? Uh, here, come check. He's doing? You talking? No, we're just going live right here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're live right now. Nice. You dude. know, I got a little hey, YouTube man. channel going on. That's good, dude. And uh, you... where no knob? Is it remote controlled? No, I don't know. See, there you are. Um. Yeah, where is the, everything is made in China. You are correct. So yeah, I don't know how. So here's the deal. I think what happens is they make preamps and you're supposed to use this with one of their preamps that you adjust the volume with. This just amplifies whatever's coming off of that. You understand what I'm saying? You, you'll be back. You got a system in your car? Yeah, my city. Yeah, you bumping? In my side. Okay. Yeah. I got to check it out one it of these days. Oh really? Yeah, I just need I need to get new. Uh, was it five by nines or? Oh, okay, uh, some speakers. Six by nines. And I need to get the three speakers in the front. Okay. I, I pop them. All right. I gotta hook you up. Some good sounds in your in your in your car. I know, man. My uh, my uh, wife's husband that I live with. Uh huh. Yeah. Let him know. All right. All right. Dude. All right. Yeah. All right. Jeff P. I'll see you. Baby's good. Yeah. Everything. They're in there. You want us to go oh, say what's up? Hold on. Hold on. One second. Angela! Are we breastfeeding? Are you breastfeeding? Are you breastfeeding? Are you feeding? Oh, oh damn. Right. Next time. I'll get the baby in the car. Alright, I'll see you then. Bye, Angela! Alright. <laughs> How you doing? You okay? Sorry about that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that's the problem with these lives, you know? Um, it's not controlled, so thank you for hanging in there while I. Uh, Talk to one of my friends. So yeah, this is a retail shop. So here's the deal. I run a retail shop and uh, I do these YouTube videos. I really enjoy doing these YouTube videos for you guys. I'm super into this stuff, but um, yeah, uh, it's tough to support my family with just, with just these videos. So yeah, so I'm still running the shop. Preferably what I'd like to do is eventually move away from doing this or maybe kind of slow down on this and really focus on these videos. I really like doing these videos. Um, yeah. Let me see here. What are you guys saying in here? So if you buy the one with a knob, do you require this as well? Uh, gotta love you. <laughs> Expert Joey, hey, we got the same name. Uh, yeah, so I think if you buy the one with the knob, that one is just a digital to analog converter, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see in the product page. Yeah. Uh, they have one called the Play. Yeah. Hey. Hi. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. I'm just uh, on a live stream right now. Oh. <laughs> I got everybody saying hi to me over here. Where is everybody else? Huh? Where is everybody else? Angela is nursing right now. Oh, never mind. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nursing right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You could pop into the camera if you want to say hi. You want to say hi? I'm good. <laughs> she, she's shy. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> you guys are still there. You guys still there? I wouldn't. You know what? If you seriously took off, I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame you because this is kind of weird. But hopefully you're enjoying this with me. What? Do, all right. So all right. What should we figure out here? I think their, their thing about this particular app is that you can change out the op amps. And so I am still new to that. Um, I talk about it in my podcast, but basically when you ch change out the op amps on this, it's supposed to change the sound signature. 
And so that's new to me, being able to change hardware that's gonna change the sound signature. You know, what I'm used to is, uh, I'm used to tone controls, I'm used to DSP, I'm used to messing with crossovers, I guess is the closest thing I could say that, um, you know, passive crossovers, where I would change some hardware and it would change the sound. But on this, you can change out actual chips in there to modify the way it sounds. So you can do that on their, their amplifiers as well as their preamps. Uh, really enjoy the Fluence review. Okay. Wifey. T oh, thank you, expert Joey. Uh, connections. Somebody said connections, please. Connections. So, just typical DC jack. Uh, we have RCA input with these beautiful, beautiful RCA cables. And just, yeah, it's all pretty basic stuff. Now, it looks like it also has a Molex connector. If you want to, I guess, insert this into like a the dock, you know, a bay of your, you know, one of the bays in your computer. So that would look kind of awesome on your computer, right? So maybe that's what it is. Maybe these are really made for, uh, if you have like a gaming setup, uh, you would put this into one of the bays. Looks like looks like the perfect size for that. Um, Molex connector, and then uh, yeah, so you'd control the volume from your computer anyway, right? Maybe that's why it doesn't have an external volume control. Kind of surprising. Kind of kind of different. I'm kind I'm curious to see how this actually sounds. So let me see if you can see here behind me. I'm restoring. Can you guys see that? Yeah. There we go. I'm, a, I'm restoring that old Marantz, it's a 2220B, and it's from like the 70s, and that thing sounds awesome. And if you know anything about Marantz, uh, they have a, uh, Marantz has kind of like what these guys are using, like a dedicated op amp. So, all right, so rewind a little bit. I bought a Denon X4100, right? And for those of you who know, Denon and Marantz are pretty much the same company. And they just got in trouble recently, but that's a different story. So they're pretty much the same company, but the Marantz are usually a little bit more expensive. Like they'll take the internals and, you know, put it into their case so it looks a little bit different. But most, I would say 90, 98, 99% of everything that's in a Marantz is the same, it has an equivalent Denon uh, receiver or AVR. Um, the main difference being that theirs has some different circuitry in there. Um, I think it's called HDAM, uh, and it's basically an op amp. It changes the sound signature, and it, people say that it sounds a little bit warmer. I don't know if you guys can verify what I'm saying, but uh, where's the 510 connection? Oh. <laughs> you funny guy, Mr. Mofo to you. Is that what it is? I like, okay. Where's the 510? Okay, I, I hear you. I hear you out there. You know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I don't have any tower. Do I have any? No. All I have is a iMac Retina, MacBook Pro. So yeah, I don't have anything with a. No. I do not have anything with that. Just seeing here real quick. Seeing the chat. So super chat. Send a super chat. What is that? No, I don't want I think sending, what is sending a super chat? I guess like a way for you guys to send me money? Send me all the money, please. I need it. You see that little dollar sign right there? Then that's a way for you to send me money. I get, I don't get what, so I can hit this button too. What does that mean? I'm gonna send who money? Myself? It doesn't make any sense. Why do I? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, op amps, back to the op amps. So that Moran sounds awesome, it sounds warm. It definitely sounds different than some of my other amplifiers. It has a certain, they call it the Moran sound, right? And I think it has a lot to do with their op amps, right? They have their own custom, uh, you know, set of circuitry in there that makes it sound a little different. And that would be the main difference, besides the looks, between a Moran and a modern Denon receiver. So, um, what these guys offer is a way to change out those op amps. I'm wondering how to open this thing. I think I can. You pay yourself. <laughs> yes, I pay myself. 
Yeah. Yeah. The passive income. There you go. Just keep paying myself all the time, right? Set it on a scheduled PayPal. Okay, so check it out. Comes with this. Hmm. I wish, and they said they would. Uh, I wish they would have sent me a few. Um, I'm going to ignore this call because I'm talking to you guys. So hit that dollar because I need it because I'm ignoring calls for you guys. Um, so it comes with this Allen wrench, right? They said they were going to send me like a typical like um, uh, circuit or I don't know what it's called. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into this op amp rolling is what they call it where you change out the op amps. But um, they have like typical like these chips that you can buy. Uh, they're super cheap. They're like four bucks, five bucks, eight bucks. They're very inexpensive. But, um, and that's what you'd find in most amplifiers. And what they offer, they offer these different op amps and they're like, let me see how much they sell on their website. Products, op amp, so V6. So their op amps are not, not $8. So a single V6 Vivid is $70. All right, two of them is 130 bucks. So yeah, they're not inexpensive, but um, what they're saying is that it does make a, a difference in sound. So I'm not sure how to open this thing. All right, so this is some Allen, Allen screws. I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe I shouldn't. They said, they said to call them first. They said, don't open it and try to do anything until I call them. So I think you guys might have to wait for that. Should I answer this call? They keep bugging. Nah. Nah. Um, what else, what else, what else? You guys have any questions so far? I know you guys are gonna tell me to open this thing. I already know you guys. Open it. How about if I open it and don't do anything to it? But how do I open this thing? Do I open it from the front? Take a look. You guys are such a bad influence. Uh, all right, let me see. How do I open this thing? Because there's, there's screws in the front, screws in the back. No volume. Yes, you're correct, Brian. It is, uh, there's no volume control. It's just an amplifier. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to see if I can tell the difference between this amp, I have a bunch of Class D amps, a bunch of them, and uh, that old Marantz, which is, I believe, also a Class AB amp. And I have another old school amplifier. Yeah, I have a few, I have a few uh, Class AB amps, and see if I can tell a difference. So yes, uh, Brian, I do need a preamp. What was the point of opening it? <laughs> What's the point of opening it? So go to their website, Burson Audio, and you'll see that they have it, um, they have it open on there and you're able to switch out these op amps. Yes, Brian knows what's up. Brian, 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 you know what's going on. Um, shoot, which part, am, which part am I gonna unscrew here? I think I'll unscrew the back. You guys are terrible influence on me. I'm supposed to be waiting to call them let's see here boom okay all right so let's see here on Solo, what's up? Uh, when testing, find out long-term use causes excess heat and affects use, and if any headphone out sounds good, open it. <laughs> I have a PC audio set with similar size integrated amp and a DAC. Okay. Well, I don't know how you do a headphone out on this. There's no, there's no plug for a headphone. There's RCA outputs. 
or inputs, sorry, RCA inputs and speaker outputs. Right. I have the Mayflower Electronics Arc. That was calling him before giving you the thumbs up. I know, right? <laughs> it probably was them calling me. Hey, don't open it yet. Hold up. Uh, the people want to know. And I want to know. So I'm doing it. I'm old, man. I'm old. I forget. I forget things, you know? I think they said something about calling them before. I don't know. All right, here we go. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. All right, so that was the back. Maybe the front. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy here. I'm just, uns okay, so maybe not those. Let's try the front ones. Real Mariano's, no. That's my wife. Don't do it. Don't do it? Why not? They said not to. It's their whole selling point. Well, look, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just looking. Come in here. Come help me help me keep these folks entertained. We got 16 people in here. This sh All right, so it says a shit audio system would work well with this app. Mr. Brian, you sound like you know a lot about this stuff. You must be like, uh, are you into headphones? What's up? Uh oh, baby's crying in the background. It's hard work, guys. This is hard work. We're trying to run a shop, trying to show you new stuff, taking care of babies. Lots of things going on here. Yeah, An uh, Angela, can you send me a super chat? Can you send me a super chat? So you can give it back to me? So I can give it back to you? <laughs> yeah, I'll send one to the real Marianos. That means I have to go live. Oh, okay, all right. I am, I think I'm not, I think I'm stupid. Cause like, I think this could have come off like way before that. Maybe, maybe, maybe I have to take all those off. Who knows? Here is the inside of this thing. So, let me see here. Mr. Brian, I'm a, hi wifey, somebody hi. says here. Hello. Oh, wow, look at this. Hi. Hi, up in the mix. Send some super chats for the family. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, okay. Mr. Brian. Mr. Brian, you are you're my buddy because you have some UB fives, and I also have UB fives. But you have them on your PC, so you're you're a monster. I have them in my living room. On your computer? Those are some huge speakers to have on your computer. So yeah, uh, Brian, you seem to know a lot about this stuff. How does this look to you? Does that look pretty crazy? That is the op app right there. That's the op app. Thank you. That's what you're able to switch out on this. And so typical ones, they look kind of like these chips, you know, like a, a integrated chip. And these are, I guess, I don't know. Are they discrete? I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. Mama. But yeah, it looks pretty nice in here. It has dip switches also, which I don't know what they do, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything with this. I'm like, oh yeah, if you uh, open this thing, it'll trip a wire. Are there any of you in SoCal? I am in SoCal, I'm in Burbank. You wanna come by right now? Brian is gonna come by. Do you have any oh, babysitting I'm... experience? Brian, do you have any babysitting experience? It's required. Alright, just making sure, I'm reading here, they are either level for near, near field testing, okay. Congrats Hansel, thank you Han. Elax is having a B-stock sale tomorrow morning. I mean the, the Elax have already been on sale for $350. I bought them for $499 and they're $350 right now. 
I think there's, I don't know if they're still in 350. You're in the OC? All right. That's not too far. Come on by. I'm here in Burbank. I'm not, I'm not hard to find. Gotta love Andrew Jones. Yes. Want to hear, hey, you guys want to hear something funny? So, you know, I just did that, uh, that review of the, the Deity S Mic 2, right? Guess what the guy's name is from, uh, from Deity, their spokesperson. Got a, I got mine for 200 bucks. Yeah, the guy's name is Andrew Jones. It's pretty funny, right? And I'm like messaging him, you know, going back and forth. And I was like, hey, dude, you got, your name's pretty famous. Like, you know, speaker designer named Andrew Jones. She's like, he's like, yeah, my SEO is all screwed up because of that guy. You know, I guess whenever you type in Andrew Jones, uh, British Andrew, Andrew Jones shows up. I'm going to close this back up because I don't know what I'm doing with this. What I want to do is I want to test it and see how it sounds. I'm in Redondo Beach. Elac is an OC. Oh, no way. Redondo Beach. Oh, so maybe they have like a little spot there because Elac's supposed to be a German company, isn't it? Okay, these screws are for the front. I'm curious what I didn't have to unscrew. Uh, let's see what are you guys saying over there. I gotta go to the market. We all audio tech should meet up a day for. Yeah, you know what? We should. If whoever's here in SoCal, I'm down. I have a shop here. Bring your own uh, food. B Y O F. Bring your own food. Come by my shop. That's fine. Elex HQ is in Cyprus. Cyprus, dude, that's... They're in Cyprus? Hold up, hold up one second. If they're in Cyprus, like... I have family members in that area. Where, where in Cyprus? Can I just, like, walk into their place? You have to walk... You have to go in person for the sale. Brian... Mr. Brian, don't be a bad influence, man. I already have... UB5s. I don't need to go in there and get some like U, what are their floor standards? UF5s? I don't need any UF5s. They're having a sale tomorrow morning. Can you tell me what the sale is or is that like a secret? Can you tell all of us what the sale is? I'm curious about some of their uh, Adantes. You know, you guys know about the Adantes? Those are pretty cool. Very weird design for a speaker. It has like, it has a, uh, hold on, let me get this right. A six inch driver inside, right? Six inch woofer, ported. And that's the enclosure inside. And then there's another enclosure, uh, another driver outside that's a passive radiator. So that's kind of interesting. I actually did a clone of those. We're just using that concept. Um, I could show you guys in a second. All right, so Brian, uh, B stock 60% off. Oh man, that's a crazy deal. All right, I'm just closing this back up. So for future reference, I guess all I have to take off are the top two. Top two in the front and top two in the back, and that should be able to I should be able to split this apart from there. Cool, now that I know. But yeah, right now I'm just hanging out and talking to you guys, so. Oh man. God, they're blowing me up. Should I answer? I'm gonna answer. Andrew Jones is gonna be there. Which Andrew Jones? One second. Hey, what's up, Carissa? Hey. You, you got my email. I did not, but what's up? Yeah, they're all side. They're just for you. First thing. All right. Well, sounds good. I'm glad we got them in. All righty. Take care. Okay. Okay. Bye. That's Burson calling. They want to brought it back. <laughs> Expert Joey, you're funny, man. 
Expert Joey. Expert Joey, how old are you, Expert Joey? Cause I go by I go by Joey typically, like most people call me Joey. Um my channel is obviously called Joe and Tell because Joey doesn't uh really sound as good as Joe and Tell, so it rhymes with show and tell. But yeah, most people call me Joey, my wife calls me Joey. And um you're 42. All right, so here's a funny story. You'll you'll appreciate this. I used to do uh, computer services, right? So I used to have an IT business before, and I had this lady, old lady. She died, by the way. So yeah, I used to have this customer, this client that was an old lady, and one time she's like, "What's your name?" Joey, and I was like, I was probably like 20, 26 at the time, I'm like Joey. That's a kid's name. That name that name's for kids. And I never th that's the first time I ever heard that, but have you ever heard that? I don't mind Joey at my age, yeah. She's like, Joey? It's for kids. I don't know, it kind of stuck with me. But she's dead. So yeah. R.I.P. Yes, Brian. <laughs> Brian. R.I.P. Uh, virtually all ELAC products will be available, including speakers, subwoofers, the debut, debut 2.0, Unify, Unify Slim, and Adate. Do you were okay? Thank you, Angela Jew TV. Come, good sale. How are you guys finding this? Where's this at? On their website? Put a link right there. I don't care. Throw a link up, and then hit that soup, that dollar sign right there, and send me some money. Thank you. Andrew Jones gonna be there? I found it Damn, I gotta be here. Maybe I gotta go. You gonna be there? AVS has a post. Are you gonna be there, Brian? My wife is trying to convince me to not be here at the shop. She's trying to convince me to, to bring in somebody to watch the shop so I can go and go say what's up to Andrew Jones. Yeah. Not to buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to talk to Andrew Jones. He's tripping. Get in here. Get in here. My wife is so funny. My wife is very funny. Yes, baby. Yes, it's tough. Trying to run the shop and do all this stuff is tough. And watch these kids. Yeah. Hey, Trying not to buy stuff. Come this Just sharing the wealth. You don't need anything? You might go? Okay. Well, if, I might go. I might go. Early, though. How early? 10 to 4. 10 to 4. So they probably want to go tonight over there. What day is tomorrow? Saturday. Saturday. You know how traffic is on Saturday. Hmm. Man, I got to make money. If I go there, it's going to make me want to spend money. That's not good. No, I just got to... Up? Up? Okay. Family friendly channel. No, you just Hello from good. Australia. Okay, how about you go oh, and no. I take your wallet and you just bring it. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> Australia, what's up Australia? My and, hey, um, I don't know how to say your name. Ine Initiatrix. Initiatrix. Um, okay. Stop it, Brian. Stop trying to convince me. Dude, it's 60% off retail. Stop that. So it's like a... Um, so from Australia. This is from Australia. You got, you know about this, Burson? Or are you from Burson? Are you from Burson Audio and you're like telling me that I shouldn't have opened this thing? Please tell me you're from Burson because I need your help to explain stuff to me. This is complex, complex stuff. Dip 8 dual op amp, okay. Okay, you have heard of Burson Audio. The Burson Police. Don't know what that is. Come to your house after you open it when you weren't supposed to. Huh? What? The Burson Police. Oh, the Burson Police are coming. I got you. I got you. I'm slow, man. <laughs> oh. um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Because I was talking about the Adantes. Nah. I was gonna show you some speakers that I made um, that are using that same design as, as that, but forget it. The box is all closed up. Like from the outside, it just looks like normal speakers, so. Yeah. 
Anyway, it, the design kind of works, like having a inside ported speaker and then having a passive speaker in the front. And the reason it works is because typically a ported speaker, you know, it has issues, right? So um, it's not as tight, it's not as controlled, right? But um, also, if it's pushing out a ton of uh, bass, right, that means it's pushing out a ton of air. And sometimes you get like port noise, chuffing, they call it. And with with that uh, passive radiator in front, it actually, um, it takes that away. Also, what it does is it acts as a, um, a low pass crossover. So, yeah, I don't get those uh, higher, higher frequencies. Now to be able to tune that to the exact frequency you want it to be crossed over at, See those right there? Those speakers right there are uh, are the ones that I made. One second. You see this the speaker here? It looks like a what is that? Like a six-inch driver? That's not actually it. This is actually a three-way design. Let me go back over here. That's a three-way design. So we got a passive radiator, mid-range, and concentric tweeter. So I straight up like copied, copied the Adantes with that. Turn this back around. All right. And uh, super chat. Oh, thank you. Oh, Greg, you're so awesome. I got my Greg drink water is my first. Uh, A patron. My <laughs> my first super chat. Thank you. Oh yeah, Greg is also a patron on Patreon. Greg, man, you're like, pretty soon, you're gonna be my new boss. You know what I mean? Telling me like, you know, you're giving me money, I owe you. So that's how I feel about that. I don't just take money. I'm not that type of person. If somebody gives to me, I feel like I have to give back twice as much. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. And um, it's just a cycle. So for me, here's what I like to do with my friends. Hopefully this is not clipping too much if I'm talking too loud, but I'm getting excited. Thank you very much. Oh, Angela's like crying almost. She looks like she's crying because she's so happy. Thank you. Are you really crying? She's crying. You made her cry. She's so happy. She's seriously crying. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, I, bar top. Okay, a few things. I'll get to all the stuff that you guys are saying here. But, um, uh, yeah, the way, you know, sometimes you go out with friends, and here's a fun game that I like to do with certain friends, right? You know, you go out, you treat them, and then next time they're like, oh, I owe you, I got this one. And it's just a continuous cycle where you pay one time, next time they pay, you're not really keeping track of that, you know, not specific, but, you know, you always try to get them back. And, um, you know, it's kind of funner that way. So if you break it down, let's say you go out 20 times and 10 times you pay, 10 times they pay, right? At the end, that's kind of like splitting it, right? At the end of the day, you're both splitting. But it's just a funner game, you know? It's funner, it's, you know, it requires trust. And <laughs> you can't play that game with every single friend that you have there um, because otherwise you might pay... Uh, 20 times and they pay zero times, right? So um, maybe not with those friends. But anyway, my point is I do like to give back, you know? To me, that has always been something that worked out for me is uh, try to give more, try to offer more value than what you bring in. And that's kind of the opposite of what they tell you in business. In business, it's supposed to be, you know, like buy low, sell high, right? But to me, it's not about that. You can add more value. I think that's the secret is to add more value to the person, whether it's making something more convenient, giving more information. As far as these videos, I really do put a lot of time to make them quality. Maybe not this live stream, but um, you know, I, I try to make quality videos that are entertaining. And the topic might not be something that's extremely interesting to a lot of people, like 
the micro view. It could have easily been a boring micro view. But uh, yeah, I try to make it interesting. So anyway, thank you again for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The question is, behind the scenes, is that a bar top arcade? Yeah. Should I make a video about that? I made that with a Raspberry Pi. And um, it's a Mortal Kombat 2 slash Street Fighter 2 arcade. Had my buddy print out all the vinyl for it. So that was a fun project. Um, yes. Canadian pixels. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so the Bar Top Arcade was a cool project. I've since had, I would say, like, almost 10 people ask me, like, hey, can you build me one of those? I'll pay you for it. But really, it was it was a pretty crazy project. It wasn't as fast as I thought it was going to be, like most projects. Um, I probably spent more time making it than I do playing it. But it's part of the fun. It's a cool, cool piece. I like to look at it. Um, I do play it once in a while when customers come in. But yeah, you know, I don't I don't know if it's worth it to make unless you do it just for fun, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't do it as a business for sure. Uh, it was so so. Here's the deal. It's a Raspberry Pi, right? Um, I'm using Recall Box. Um, I there was another there's another program that that's more popular than Recall Box, but I felt like Recall Box was just easier to use. Um, and then the wood for this, I was gonna actually cut everything out of wood, doing all that. But on eBay, I found a guy who was like, who had CNC uh, wood parts for like 80 bucks, 80 bucks. And so I was like, nah, I'm not, I don't, yeah, forget it. I'm just gonna buy the stuff, do it, you know, just make it easy on myself. Yeah, so I don't mind, you know. I wish I would've kind of made a, a bigger one because when I'm playing with somebody, it's like we're real close together. You're an arcade nut, Brian. What's your game? For me, it's Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2 specifically. I use Katana. Uh, 3, I'm all right. Um, and then after that, uh, no, nah, I don't know how to play those too well. What's the size of the monitor? I think I'm using a 19 inch uh, old school aspect ratio, so not a widescreen format. I wanted it to look authentic and I even did those lines um, what are they called like an old CRT monitor had those scan lines so yeah it does that the screen kind of bows in like that so yeah it looks pretty pretty legit fighting games okay and shoot 'em ups okay all right um, yeah Street Fighter 2 I'm all right there's some people that get a little too crazy on that I'm all right I can hold my own um, but Mortal Kombat I'm decent. I'm decent. The Kimonos died of old age before. Okay. All right. Retro Pie. Yes. Brian, you're you're the man. Brian, do you have a YouTube channel or no? The Kimonos died. Okay. Cool. Ice. All right. So I'm going to have to test this. The point of this was to test this. Um... I'm probably not gonna make this live public. What do you guys think? It's pretty, this is a pretty crazy live stream. All over the place, I had people coming in. Totally not 100% about this. It's mostly just talking with you guys about all kinds of stuff. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So those speakers that I showed you, six inch driver is what it seems like is on the outside. But no, I took the driver from this cheapo Mica Club 3. These are the craziest three and a quarter inch woofers. No, three and a half inch woofers ever. These are ridiculous. Like I swear to you, this will hit like down into the 30 hertz range. It's crazy, right? Look at that. Look at that stupid surround on there. That's crazy. And so these are inexpensive speakers. And I took that, threw it behind there, designed it all in, um, you know, for the bass, I use Bassbox Pro. Figure out the enclosure size and all that. Um, but yeah. Too many hobbies, no channel. No channel, ah, uh, okay, that's okay. You are helping though, um, Brian. You're helping me. So, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, the only reason I'm going right now is because I'm on uh, laptop power and it is at 18% right now. So, um, instead of letting it die out like that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut it short. So yeah, thank you guys.
uh, for spending time with me. Leave some comments and, you know, leave some comments on some old videos. It doesn't matter. Um, if you have any questions on this thing, I'll try to get to them. Um, I'll try to go to ELAC thing tomorrow. Bad influence, Brian. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Burst and audio. We'll see how this thing sounds. Uh, that's it. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Let me say bye in the chat. Bye. Everyone. Later.